this is a six inch 100 micron epi wafer and we're going to go ahead and run the 17 point test on it i'll cut, cut in and out so this clip doesn't get too long but here we go First point in the center. You can see the scan light going. So now it goes to the center. We call it the middle ring. And it shows on the GUI what position it's analyzing. So it's just in the center at six o'clock and now we're gonna go around the outside. It might go back another direction before it makes the full revolution. We're still resolving 100 microns. It, what it just did was run through the right hand side of the test points from seven, excuse me, from two through five, and then it rotated back around to get to six through nine. It's looking at eight right now. ninth test point after this it's going to cycle to the outer ring it's on point 10 100 microns After this, we will run a uh, 20 times at the center point of the wafer for a repeatability test. Now it's going around to the other half of the wafer. I'm not sure why it's programmed to move through the wafer this way, but it does. Three more test points. One more to go. It's the last point here. And then it will return the wafer to the load position. the flat or the notch facing out. There's our data. Can't see right now the 8, 9, and 10, but it's measuring very well.